You put the volume on. Catch the sheet. Farouk is done. Heart attack. <laughs> you want him? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوية الأربعين نوية الاعتكاف نوية الخلوة نوية العزة نوية الرياضة نوية السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المجد أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم We continue of the previous session about uh -huh. of the previous session that as Prophet وسلم, was under this under the that direct direct gaze if we can say that from the divine presence for five hundred thousand years Every hundred thousand years was in a different level and a different station. And we said that first hundred thousand years was under the under the station of love. Imagine someone being trained. Allah is training the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for hundred thousand years, heavenly years, to in the station, the level of what? No. No. Of love. Because there is five hundred, five levels, and five hundred thousand years between a level and another level. We described it yesterday. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from his level to the Divine Presence is 500,000 years of heavenly years. In order Prophet ﷺ can reach Kaaba Kawsaini Aw Adna to reach that reality, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala trained him into these 500,000 years into make it into five levels. The first level is the level of love. <coughs> For hundred thousand years, Prophet ﷺ was trained how he can be in love with his Lord. And this is, we said, it is, uh, it is before creation, before creating creation. Prophet ﷺ created first the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and that light was under that training. How we today, how we can, uh, there is a word in English, can say that we, we are in love of, we love Allah and we love Prophet. Where Prophet وسلم, was being trained for real love 100,000 heavenly years for his reality to be able to love 
And to be in love, it took 100,000 heavenly years. Who can dare today say, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you really love Allah, you will be completely not in this dunya. There is one of Sayyidina Musa's believers, his disciple, one of his students, one of his believers. He saw Sayyidina Musa going for, whenever he goes for Tur Sinai, to speak with his Lord, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he was Karimullah. He said, Ya Musa, where you are going today? He said, I'm going to Tur Sinai to speak with my Lord. He said, Ya Musa, can you ask him to send for me Iman, means love? He said, I will ask, but you believe in me, why what do you want? You have love. He said, no, no, I want really to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for me that he sent for me Iman. He sent me love to believe in him. Sayyidina Musa went and before leaving he said, Ya Rabbi, my neighbor who is a believer asked me that he feels he has no Iman, he has no love to you. Also, although he is a believer, he wants love. And Allah answered, Ya Musa, tell him I'm sending to him an atom of love. An atom, zarra. Mm. The smallest that you can imagine. Sayyidina Musa came back, happy to go tell the believer that Allah is sending to him love, but feeling shy because it's only one atom. He came there and he saw that believer no movement. He's uh, sitting, what you can say, in awe. He's not here. He shakes him like that. Tough shaking. He didn't answer. He said, oh my brother, wake up, I'm Musa, not here. And Allah answered him, Ya Musa, you asked me to send him love, I send him one atom. Even if you grind him into pieces, he's not going to feel anything. He is in my love now. So, it's not simple, it's easy to say, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can say it by mouth, yes, but you cannot say it by heart. Uh, really, action, to act on it, it's impossible. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam into the station of love for 100,000 heavenly years in order to be able to, to say, I am now at the... Uh, threshold of love or at the beach of that ocean of love at the which say the beach sure. at the shore of that ocean of love he didn't yet entered he's at the shore but he can feel it now hundred thousand years after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him to the second station, which is the station of khawf, fear. If you fear something, you be worried and you always uh, attentive. Your eyes are opened, your ears are opened, your mind is open, all your body is ready to, to be able to take away that fear, to drop that fear by standing in its face, isn't it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for 100,000 years, having the years in the station of fear. That's why in day of judgment, 
all prophets will be shaking in the Allah's presence because they inherited that station of fear from Prophet If we are in fear of Allah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then everything in our life will be straightforward. We will fix our life. We will be able to worship correctly. Why Sahaba worship correctly? Because Prophet put in their hearts love and put in their heart fear. Out of love they pray, out of hell, out of fear to be away from Allah's presence or to be in hell, they pray. He, 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 re, he uh, made them ready, Prophet ﷺ, because Allah made him ready there. Today, if a policeman passing by you, you will get scared. What do you think? That angels every moment are passing by us and no one of us is scared. Allah is saying there is right angel, there is left angel. Are we scared? We know that they are there. We, we don't care. But why we don't care? Because we are helpless. We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. Amen. Cannot do more. It's difficult. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after he raised and trained his Prophet wasallam, in that station 100,000 years, in the station of fear, he took him to the station of shy, to be shy, shyness. فَإِنْ لَمْ تَسْتَحِي فَاصْنَعْ مَا شئت. If you don't get shy, if you are not shy, you can do anything. Today people, they are doing everything. Look, look go and look at the, at the beach, what they are doing. They are not feeling shy. They are naked. And some beaches are nude. There is no dress. Why? They don't feel shy. It doesn't mean anything to them. Find them tastahe, fasna ma shirt. If you don't get shy, you can do you do everything. You can do everything. You, 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 there is no there is no uh, uh, something in front of you to stop you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam into the station of shyness. 100,000 heavenly years. How we say about ourselves, we are shy. We are not shy. If we are really shy, then we know that Allah is looking at us, His angels are looking at us, His Prophet is looking at us, then we will not do what we are doing. Everyone, me, you, everyone. The only one that is protected, Ma'asum, is Prophet and all other Prophets. Awliyaullah, Sahaba and Awliyaullah are protected. Are, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them, Mahfuzin. In, in Da'irat al-Hafiz, they are protected in the circle of protection. So, if Prophet ﷺ inherited his Sahaba, this, these stations, that, that's why they were shy, that, that's why they have discipline, that's why Prophet ﷺ said, Rabbi ta'dibi. Allah perfected me and perfected my, he disciplined me and perfected my moral, ex, my behaviors. He brought me to immoral excellence. Because of what? How? Because of these stations that Awliyaullah are mentioning to us. Five different stations that Prophet ﷺ was under heavenly training to his soul, to his light, to his atom. Before creation, creation, creating creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect, uh, raised him and perfected him. Today we say, Prophet Adabani Rabbi Fa'asana Ta'adibi. Allah disciplined me and perfected my discipline. What we understand from that. Awliya Allah comes and brings this wisdom, these realities out in order that we can understand what 
Prophet has been given. The fourth level that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him is maqamul raja. The level of request. You, when you, you have raja, mean you are asking in a humble way. Means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how to ask. Allah said, Ad'uni astajib lakum, ask me, I'll give you. That's maqamul raja, you ask something, you want something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you need to, to be, your tongue has to be sweet in asking. You cannot ask day to day when you, you teach children, you tell them they, they want something, say please. Why you tell them, say please? Huh? Respect. To show uh, uh, his humility. humility and to teach them how to address the older people. Uh, how we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to be through different ways of dua that they are in a sweet way. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that level 100,000 years that he said, heavenly years, that he's, that's why he said in Sahih al-Bukhari, one hadith that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in day of judgment, he will go into sajda asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open for him dua that he never opened before from that maqam, from this 100,000 heavenly years of uh, the, the state of duas. He will open for him. Dua that he never opened before in dunya means. But it was open to Prophet وسلم, when he was in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a as a his his light. He will open to him, he will make dua that never been done before, and Allah tell him, raise your head. When he was in such that raise your head, I will say ask and I will give you. Because it is a sweet dua. It's a dua that, that has taste with it, that has love with it, that has fear with it, that has shyness with it, from these three levels that he passed through, that has the, 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 the diplomatic way of asking. Allah will say, okay, take one third of the ummah. Then he asked another time, he said, take one third, then he asked another time with different dua and Allah said, Say, take until everyone go to paradise if, except one. Then Allah say, I am the one that gave, I have the one that have the mercy, I'm forgiving also that one. So all the ummah enter paradise. Yeah. So that, that level of asking, it took 100,000 years for Prophet to be trained in it. Okay, where today when you make dua, who is accepting your dua? Sometimes it won't, it goes through, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but you will find it in the day of judgment, Allah will give, because he said, Duni astajiblakum, ask me, I give to you. If we didn't get it in dunya, for sure we'll get a, the reward of it in akhirah, because we were patient. The last, the fifth level, when you, ad, when you achieve all these four, different levels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you to the last, to the to that level, the fifth level is maqam al-qurba, the station of nearness. Now you are, you can be near. When you have love, when you have fear, when you have shyness, when you have uh, sweetness in your way of presenting your dua, then now you are allowed to come come near. Kaba kausaini, au adna. Two bows of an arrow and less, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If that in Isra and Mi'raj, he is two bows and of arrow and less. What you think about Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? When Allah ordered the pen to write, and pen said what I'm going to write, he said, write La ilaha illallah. 
70,000 children, the pen stop means in every moment the pen is writing means knowledge is coming out. Mm. Then he said, what I will write? He said, Muhammad Rasulullah. 70,000 years writing Muhammad Rasulullah means Prophet Sallallahu was under these 70,000 years, heavenly years, when the pen was writing Muhammad Rasulullah. It was a training for Prophet Sallallahu to be able to be more in the maqam nearness, more and more nearer, more and more nearer, more and more near. How much nearer Prophet was, we don't know. If you want to walk one hour, you reach downtown. So what we say? Say we are, you are near downtown, is not? You drive six hours, you reach another city, and you say, oh, I reached Los Angeles from San Francisco here to Los Angeles, is that? If you are driving. You drive more San Diego, you drive more Mexico, is that? Yes. And what you think about Prophet Wasallam moving more and more in the level of nearness, 70,000, 100,000 heavenly years was moving in that level, how much near he became from the first moment till the end of the 100,000 100, heavenly years. That's why what Prophet وسلم, Allah gave to him, no one knows. In that situation, Allah gave him the realities of Holy Quran, as we said yesterday. Allah taught him Quran there. That's why the verse of Surah Al-Rahman, Al-Rahman, Allam Al-Quran, Khalaq Al-Insan. He taught the Holy Quran to his Prophet after 500,000 heavenly years of five different stations. He was training, he was being trained, his light was being trained, his soul was being trained, his atom was being trained. For these all these years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began to teach him the Holy Quran. When he taught him the Holy Quran, Allah wants now that Holy Quran from his Prophet to be taught. To him it to be, to be taught, to creation, he created creation. He created creation to show the importance and the greatness of his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because Allah knows his beloved prophet and his status because He gave it to him. He wants someone to know that He creates creation. So He gave him these realities, and He gave him what is necessary for his for a human being, for a human race. At that moment, and we explained that briefly yesterday, at that moment, Prophet said, Ya Rabbi, I don't want to be away from your presence, not even one moment. So give me someone that I give him, pass to him this knowledge. So when you created, you, cre you create me in, in dunya, he will pass it to me there physically. Because me as, as you have created me, as created my light and my soul, I want to be in your presence. I don't, to be, I don't want to be away. So I want my reality there. So I cannot give take from take these realities these knowledges and go all the way down to pass it to my physicality later i want to be with you there in that presence not with you but in that presence G give me an intermediary and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said i'm giving you i'm creating jibril for that and as Grand Sheikh said, and Awliyaullah say, they say, Allah gave Sayyidina Jibreel 
gave Prophet these realities. Real, Jayidna, uh, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave Ma'an al Quran the meanings and the interpretation of the Holy Quran and Holy Quran, the words that Allah taught him, he gave to Jibril alayhi salam. So whenever Jibril comes to Prophet sallallahu in dunya, it is from Muhammad to Muhammad As it is mentioned in the Sira that when Jibril, one time Jibril coming to Prophet sallallahu in front of Sahaba, the Prophet said, Ya Jibreel, who gives you the wahi? He said, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A white hand comes behind the curtain and gives me, a heavenly curtain, and gives me the wahi, I come to you. So said, see who's, who's, whose hand is there. Open that curtain. You have permission. He opened and came down. He said, it is from Muhammad to Muhammad. So that's why in the hadith of Prophet وسلم, and many scholars, they didn't know how to explain it. Oh, SubhanAllah, Grand Sheikh easily was explaining it. Is that when Prophet وسلم, when Wahi comes, and everyone who studied this hadith can understand that when Jibreel السلام, comes, Prophet used to shivering. He is in a state of shivering. Yeah. And sometimes you can uh, hear the shivering, the, the sound of the teeth, of his teeth uh, grinding on each other. The Sahaba, they say, not Sahaba, scholars, they say that Prophet وسلم, used to be afraid of the heavenly presence of Jibreel. But Awliyaullah Grand Sheikh said, no is when Prophet gives him, when Muhammad to Muhammad, when Prophet gives, he knows what he is giving. But between the time he gives and time Jibreel alayhi salam reach the physicality of Prophet as a human being, there is some moments there. He is worried that might be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change what he gave. Because Allah is the the Creator can change whatever He likes. He is the Lord. Prophet is the servant, servant of Allah. Might be a change will happen. So Prophet used to shiver. Ya Rabbi, don't change it. Ya Rabbi, keep it as is it. That's why he was worried because there he knew that everything was being given generously to the Ummah. So he doesn't want anything to be changed of what he was asking and through through the, the fourth level, Maqam al Raja, the station of Dua. He was in that station 100,000 100, heavenly years. He doesn't want anything to be changed of what he asked and what he been given. He doesn't want it to be changed. That's why he used to shiver. So Jibreel alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put him as an intermediary between the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad of Kaaba Kawsaini Aw Adna and the physicality of Prophet as a human being on earth. So Jibreel, not because Sayyidina Musa can speak with Allah and Prophet cannot speak, because Prophet didn't want to be one moment away from Allah's presence. Because if, if he is away, then he has to be with his physicality on earth. That's why awliya Allah, they say 99%, for example, if we speak percentage, 99% is his reality is in the presence of Allah. One of that 99, of that 100, one reality is with his physicality. The, re the real prophet, the real greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, as the station of servanthood, servant to his Lord, is always in the presence of his Lord in prostration. Never change. So, Jibreel alayhi salam, Allah made him. He said, Ya Habibi, I made for you Jibreel. Translator means mutarjiman. Mutarjiman in Arabic here comes carrying the revelation. And I make him protect, protector for you 
and I made him to be of highly discipline with you to gr greet you from heavens when you go be on earth to be greeted as you are greeted in heaven. He will be helper for you when you will be leaving all the re your realities in my divine presence and taking one reality with you when you will be created. I'm keeping him for you as a helper and a protector for that reality that will go with your hum humanity, physicality. That's why he said, Prophet Sallallahu and is mentioned, Adabani Rabbi Fa'ahsana Ta'jibi. Allah disciplined and perfected my manners, my behaviors to reach Maqam al Ihsan. So, Maqam al Ihsan is not something that it is so easy. That verse, Adabani Rabbi Fa'ahsana Ta'jibi, that saying of Prophet Sallallahu always people mention it. it وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقِينَ عَظِيمٌ For surely you are of greater uh, what خُلُقٌ uh, عَظِيمٌ oh. No. Huh? Tremendous nature. Tremendous nature or best character, best character uh, after he, be, he was on all this training. Not because out of uh, dunya training, it's out of heavenly training before he was being sent, before creation being created, before he was sent, Allah created his light and his soul and he trained him. Then Prophet وسلم, after he said, Adabani Rabbi Fa'ahsana Ta'adibi, Allah perfected me and perfected my discipline. He said, Ya Rabbi, you are the owner of everything. You own me and you own creation. That you will be creating, but that there is no creation yet. Give me something that, that I like so much. I want it if you give it to me. Whoever loves some someone, he, that someone he will mention that one so much. And Ya Rabbi, I feel shy from you, but I love you. I want, I want to be able to mention you in every moment, not mentioning by mention, but I want to be deeply immersed in these oceans of your divinely manifestations. And he, uh, the answer came is, oh, my servant, I'm going to make for you a house of light. And I'm going to put your light in that house of light, that your light will be growing always from that light that's why allah said in holy quran allah nuru samawati wal ard say shaykh a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim allah nuru samawati wal ard mathal nurihi kamishkatin fiha misbah al misbah fi zujaja الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسسه نار نور على نور يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم ذات الله نور السماوات والأرض مثل نوره كمشكات في مصباح 
Allah is the light of heavens and earth. His example of his light is like a bundle that has a lamp. So that lamp that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a light. But it's like a house of of light means a lamp that Allah put the light of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in it to be under that training, under that reality that he will be able to mention his names, to mention to, to he, because Prophet asked, can I mention, I need to mention you, to remember you, to to be immersed in these div divinely, heavenly uh, appearances. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that put him in that light. And it's like a a like like a lamp that has uh, get its oil from a olive tree. Means here this means olive means an oil that doesn't need any kind of match to light. Ignite it ign uh, ignite by itself. It is not from the east, it is not from the west. Means no direction. Direction is in every direction, Prophet's light will be shining. After that he said to him, now because of these 500,000 years and your light will be in that lamp, you will be able, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, through the reality, the Muhammadan reality, you can be able to mention me through my beautiful names and attributes. At that time, Allah showed him how to mention him through the 99 names. Allah has his beautiful names. Ask him through these beautiful names. At that time, according to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad at that time, how much it has been achieving, he was able to call on his Lord through his beautiful names and from these beautiful names different manifestations were coming on the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but what, it was at the edge it, not yet higher, higher and higher so after that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was going higher and higher like when he began to get this manifestation of the beautiful names and attributes he was been moving like Mislaini mislain, double and double, double and double. Every moment he is increasing, like you know, atomic reaction. Exponential. How it's yeah. what expo exponential. Exponential. New Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His reality was like that, moving and moving. At that time, Allah wanted the the greatness of His Prophet to be known, and we will continue next time. He created creation. We'll stop here and may Allah forgive us. Wa min Allahi tawfiq wa harmat al fatih. Okay, okay. Allah Khan.